Hey there, David here. Happy Monday to you. I'm going to take the challenge and I'm going to issue this challenge. I saw this quote from Simon Sinek on LinkedIn today, and it says, before we can stand out, you have to find out what you stand for. And I think it's a really good exercise and it's a really good challenge. So, so thank you, Simon. I'm going to answer that question over the next couple of minutes. What do I stand for? And then I'm going to challenge you uh, to answer the same question. I'm a leadership trainer, coach, performance development. I love human behavior. And so here's what gets my juices running and here's why I do what I do. I believe as leaders and organizations, you have low hanging fruit. And to sum it up, it's the fact that there is more reward in trying to get more out of what your employees currently know than there is necessarily tossing a ton of money at constantly adding new knowledge. I think that knowledge is awesome, but I think it's overrated by today's leaders and uh, and organizations. And what do I mean? Because it is awesome. Knowledge is necessary for results. But I, I want you to take this quiz. Uh, so look at those three faces, press pause if you haven't already figured them out, and, uh, and then decide who these people are. So go ahead, press pause, and I'll come back with the answer when you press play again. If you guessed it right, here is uh, the, the answers to the three people on the screen. On the far left is Susie Orman. She is a financial guru. Many of you have seen her. She tells people how to manage their money, no matter how much you make, how to get the most out of it, and to live in greater financial freedom. In the center is Stephen Covey, author, speaker. Most famous book is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And on the far right is the dude that started this video for me and put up that quote. He's Simon Sinek. And start with the question, why is his book? These three have reached hundreds of millions, if not a billion plus people on the face of this earth. They've achieved huge exposure. And what they talk about is powerful in terms of its truth. Their principles work. And not only is it powerful information, but it's presented in a powerful way because they're effective presenters. And so if powerful stuff is presented in a powerful way, it should end up with results, right? And I'm, I'm not saying they haven't had results. I appreciate who they are and what they do. I'm not saying that I haven't had results as a trainer, a speaker. But why aren't we there yet? I, you can't say that because personal debt in North America keeps on going up. It's not going down. People aren't following that advice. Um, you know, there are a whole bunch of people with crappy discipline out there that don't have a clue on how to develop good habits, even though they've read the book. And there are a lot of people that don't start with the question why, and they're great people that choose jobs for the pay or the title, and they put a great person in very much a hell that kind of chains them up for the number of years that they stay in that environment. So here's my truth, and what I get passionate about, there's a gap between knowledge and results, because you've got some people in your organization who know better than what they're doing. <laughs> if you counted them up, how many would they be that know better than what they're doing? Um, and the, here, here's, the, here's, here's the rub, is that a lot of leaders make it personal. So you have an employee that's not performing up to your expectations of their, of their potential. And so what you do is throw more learning at them and learning at them and learning at them. And you throw more knowledge at them, but then they're still not, you're not getting the results out of that. Now you've spent a lot of money. And so you start calling them in your mind names. You're not committed. I guess you're not bright enough. I guess you're not, they are not, they are not. Um, don't do that. We've all done it. Let's talk about that. It, it's pretty prevalent in our minds. You can think it. But I don't want you to act on it because here's the truth. Personal effectiveness, you made it personal, but personal effectiveness isn't all up to the person. It has way more to do with the environments that we're a part of. Environments breed personal effectiveness. Personal effectiveness is best achieved in community. And if you were to reflect on your lives, there's probably environments that you would recognize that made you better. And there were environments that made you worse. I get pumped up about the environment. So here's how I live what I stand for. Building capacity workshops and coaching is simply giving leaders a blueprint to building work environments that give you way more influence over your people than you could possibly ever hope to have as one individual trying to motivate, <laughs> change, and 
performance and growth uh, to 5, 10, 25 other people. And by the way, as a leader, when you're focused on building an environment, it's something you have way more control over than you do over the people that you manage. And in controlling what you do control, it's going to take you from a leader that has to potentially always use authority to get things done. You use your position to make people do things, which is a rough road. That's not an easy place to be, always having to use authority to a place where you're a leader that leads by influence. And people, you see the change and your days get better and get lighter. It doesn't mean there's no stress, but fundamentally, it's a different place for you as a leader and it's a different place for you as an employee. And it's a place that as people and as a company, you should want to be. That's what gets me worked up is that there's a gap between knowledge and results, and that gap is the environment that leaders create. And so what I do to answer that is to train leaders on building environments that influence people for results. My question now is, what do you stand for? Feel free to post it below. Uh, look forward to hearing it, finding out more about the people that I'm connected to. Have yourself a great day.